So does any of this make a difference during Hillary's almost inevitable run for the Democratic nomination? Mark Thiessen is a Fox News contributor and former presidential speechwriter. Mark, does it? Uh, it could. I mean, first of all, this is just like a fascinating book because you've had all these memoirs written about life inside the West Wing. But this is the first time someone's really taken us inside life inside the residence. And so I think it's very revealing about uh, the people who live there, their values, their character. Uh, it comes through in this. Um, I think it is. In, it does have implications for 2016 in the sense that, I mean, as, as Kate mentioned, that they were, they were seen by their staff as being incredibly paranoid. One usher told her that they were the most paranoid people he had ever met in his entire life. And you, is it you paranoid see that. if people really are out to get you? <laughs> That's true, I guess. But the, uh, but the, uh, you know, the, the, we saw, for example, in 1992, they had what we would today call a homebrew phone system mm. uh, to to make that, sure that no one could listen in. On their, on their phone calls. If you want to know the roots of the homebrew or private email server, it goes back to 1992 when they didn't want to have anyone listening in on their phone calls, this even stuff, the trusted White House uh, staff. The stuff about Hillary throwing the book at Bill and you know, he's bleeding and she made him sleep on the sofa, I think most women are going to be like, right on, sister. Absolutely. I mean, right? that I mean, humanizes that, it her. It seem like a very sympathetic character because what the, although she also says that most of the staffers believed that Hillary knew all along about Lewinsky, mm -hmm. uh, but was only ticked off that it became public. Yeah, part of it humanizes her. I mean, you see her anger at the, uh, uh, over the Lewinsky uh, situation how the White House staff really went out of their way to try and help her uh, through that, you know, baking her special cakes and, and, and trying to make her life easier. But at the same time, you see ugly parts of the, of the, of the Clinton family. I mean, Kate mentioned that story about uh, Chelsea Clinton where she said the pigs are here. When, what, what she didn't mention was that when the uh, Secret Service officer confronted Chelsea about that and said, look, I've taken a pledge to take a bullet for your family, she said, well, that's what my mom and dad call you. So you had the president and the first lady refer to the Secret Service people who I have know, but it's like offered to take a quadruple hearsay. I mean, that's good. like that's going to come back to haunt Hillary Clinton. Last but not least, uh, the George Bush 41, the elder, gets lots of yeah. praise. It, apparently, the staff sure. loved, you know, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush and Barbara Bush. But does that inure to the, meta, the benefit of Jeb Bush? I mean, he's he's this, the kid. It, we, uh, who knows how he's going to be if he ever gets I in don't there? I don't knew, know if it inures to his, uh, to his favor, but it certainly shows the values that he comes from. I mean, this was a, the, the staff loved the Bush family, both 41 and 43. Um, they used to, you know, they, one of the things I remember when I was at the White House is they always spent Christmas at Camp David instead of going back to Kennebunkport. And the reason was they, they figured that they would displace the least number of people who would have to miss Christmas with their own families. So they actually gave up spending Christmas in their own home in order to ha let, so let their staff wow. do it. I mean, that just shows a lot about the character of that family. It's a very good and decent family. I will never forget being at the 2008 inauguration, 2009, of Barack Obama, and huge portions of that crowd booed, booed Bush the Elder and Barbara Bush, booed them. When they, they yeah. were there for his inauguration, booed them. Like, really? Yeah. Why? Anyway, Mark, nice great to see you. Nicest people in the world. Thanks, Megan. Up next.